welcome to vinitas math channel this is the second video of the first module that is introduction to digital design chapter okay we are doing the digital design and computer organization subject this is the first module class 2 in the first chapter we discussed about what is a binary logic and the uh, what are the basic uh, logic operations and the corresponding truth tables and its logic gates or logic representation now let us see what is an logic gate a logic gate it is nothing but it's an electronic circuits these operates on one or more input signals okay these gates these are nothing but these are than electronic circuits these operates on one or more inputs see here in this in this not gate we are having only one input okay it is also an logic circuit or logic gate see here this is an or gate with two inputs even we will be having a l or gate with three inputs four inputs so on fine so logic gate it is nothing but it's an electronic circuits where the electronic components will be there which operates on one input or more inputs it produces an output signal okay for logic gates we told inputs will be there one or more inputs and output will be there these inputs and outputs we take or we uh, consider these as zero and one but in reality none of the signals are in digital form that is zeros and ones almost all the signals whatever we get in nature whatever the signals produced in nature even whatever the uh, signals what our heart produces even that signal is also an analog signal it is not an digital signal so what we do is the electronic sorry the electrical signals that is the voltages or currents which exists as the analog signal ranging from 0 to 3 volts this we are interpreting as 0 and 1 okay let us consider we are having an analog signal uh, ranging from 0 to 3 volts okay so we are converting or we are interpreting this 0 to 3 volts analog signal into a digital signal such that if the voltage is from 0 to 1 volts if the analog voltage is from 0 to 1 volt then we consider that signal as logic zero fine understood if we are having a low signal that is 0 to 1 volt then we will consider it as logic zero similarly if the voltage is between 2 volts to 3 volts in its analog form then we consider that or when uh, we interpret that voltage into logic 1 in digital form fine whatever the signals in between 1 volt and 2 volts this is called as transition state we will not consider this as either 0 or 1 okay you understood this is the signal levels for the binary logic values in lab in lab experiments uh, we connect the logic 0 when we want to connect an input logic 0 to any gates we will connect a ground to that value and whenever we want to connect or whenever we have to give the logic 1 value to any gate at that time we will connect vcc to that input let me show an example let us consider i am designing an and gate and i have to give inputs here i have to give input as 0 and here i have to give input as 1 so we don't have digital inputs so what we do in reality we are having analog signals so uh, logic 0 logic 0 it is nothing but the voltage from 0 to 1 so if i take 0 it is nothing but ground right so we will connect the ground to this input its meaning logic 0 is connected to this input 
when I want to connect 1 to this input, I will connect VCC 5 volts to this input. Fine. Next concept is timing diagram for input and output signals for the gates. Okay, what is a timing diagram? Timing diagram means it shows <coughs> the idealized response of each gate, meaning how the each gate will be uh, will give output for each input values. Okay, that is how the AND gate will react whenever the input is 1 and 0. When the input 1 and 0 for an AND gate, the output will be 0. Right, whenever the input is 1, 1 for an AND gate, the output will be 1. Okay, to show that it in a graphical way, it is called as a uh, timing diagram. In the horizontal axis, the time is mentioned. Vertical shows the signal changes from changing between 0 and 1. Okay, this line represents a time signal or 1 second, 2 seconds, at what second it is being changed and vertical values change uh, shows zeros and ones since we are having only two values. Here the low level is logic 0. This one I am considering, considering it as a logic 1 value. This is 0, lowest value, highest value or higher value that is logic 1. Fine. Here I am showing, trying to show the timing diagram of x, y and gate that is x and y, x or y that is or gate and not gate, not of the input x that is x not, not gate of y that is y not. Okay, I have taken the inputs x as 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, y as 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. I have already uh, arranged my grid lines. Fine. Here I have taken an equispace lines so that I can represent it very easily. So first let me mark the X. Okay. This part will be helpful in your lab experiments to write the outputs. Fine. First X. X is 0. So for one second of duration let me take as I have given an input as 0 for 1 second of duration. So this is 1 second duration, 1 second duration what it is? 0. Next, next second, in the second second, what is the out, sorry, what is the input I am given? It is 1. So 1 means upper part, right? Next, in the third second, it is 1. 1. In the fourth second, what it is? It is 0. In the fifth second, it is 0. Correct? So now, connect it. It is 0. 0 to 1, a transition has occurred. Understood? Okay. 1, 1. Again, it is 0. See now, it is 0. Correct? It is 1. It is 1. 0. 0 fine now I'll write directly this is 0 again 0 from 0 0 the transition will be to 1 so at the third second it is 1 1 and again in the fifth second it will be 0 fine this is our x and y in the last class I had already told you the uh, how the AND gate works and when the output will be 1 for AND gate and OR, OR gates. How the OR, AND and NOT functions, NOT gates will work. Okay. This is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. This is AND gate, right? This is my low, low value or logic 0 and this is logic 1 for this AND gate representation. 0, 0. When both the inputs are 0, the output will be? 0 for AND gate. When 1 0 AND gate, the output will be 0. Correct. 
next when input is 1 and 1 the output will be 1 what how the AND gate works whenever all the inputs are high all the inputs we are having only two inputs here whenever all the inputs are high the output will be high in rest of the cases the output will be 0 so here 0 1 so what will be the output it is 0 okay for 0 0 0 if you are not able to follow the instructions what you can do is write the output at each case let me show you in the OR gate section okay see here if you are not able to write the timing diagram properly what you can do is for x and y 0 0 what is 0 0 0 plus 0 is 0 write the output for this let us connect afterwards okay next for 1 0 for 1 0 the output will be 1 correct for OR gate if at least any one input is 1 the output will be 1 correct next 1 and 1 when if both the inputs any one is high the output will be high fine next it is 0 and 1 for 0 and 1 the output will be 1 fine this is logic 0 this is logic 1 for each and everything this is 0 this is 1 this is 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 okay next 0 0 the output will be 0 see here 0 okay after writing this you can give a connection like it is a continuous signal so 0 here I must do a transaction transition fine understood now so it is 0 